A lot of races and a lot of bumping and grinding in this championship and we'll start with the man who was expected to do so well in New Zealand and in fact he did even though he didn't quite manage to make it four victories there in a row. Greg Murphy, it's been an extraordinary period in the championship. A lot of people said a few years ago we should stick with these 300 kilometre pit stop races because they were getting, uh, they were much more interesting than the boring old sprint races. But gee, the sprint races have been fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I really, really been enjoying them. I mean, the, the pit stops have been there. Obviously, New Zealand was a bit different because of the weather, and they had uh, the three races on the Sunday, which didn't have the pit stops. But um, you know, the 100k races are pretty entertaining. You get to have uh, the three starts. Uh, and also you've got that opportunity, obviously, that if you have a bad race, I mean, Richo proved that on the weekend, you know, you have a, have a bad one, come from the back, and you still, you still manage to get some points. Where if it's, when it's one race, it's all over in one fell swoop, and, and you sit on the sidelines for the rest of the weekend. So it's a, there's a lot of work to do building up to the race, and then when you're out on the second or third lap, it's a, it's a, a pretty hard time. Oh, thanks. Now this. <laughs> This is an incident from the most recent round, of now, course. Now, that's not on the sheet here. That is not on the sheet. <laughs> no, we just kind of threw that in. Yeah, Murph. Thanks, a bit Scott, of an for that one. Yeah, oh, good on you. What it's was going through your mind right? there, by the way? Oh, you listen, can't say it. The, no. the boot lid. It's, well, it, it's, <laughs> as someone said before, my, oh, actually, uh, unusual from... Oh, let's see it again. <laughs> My, my theory is my that there was, there was so much congestion in the first round of pit stops, you thought you'd back the car in to make it a bit easier for the crew. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, you know. I hadn't done a really good job on the VB Challenge, and I thought, oh, I'll just come in and see if I can do a bit of a job. I just wonder what Garth Tanner was thinking when he went past. He must have thought he, he was he, going the wrong way. He, 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 <laughs> I reckon he was laughing his head off, actually. It's, um, it wouldn't be funny if I'd sort of go, hey, boys, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close to blocked, wasn't it? Because oh, when you went like that, block. Ambrose and I snuck by the back, but there was yeah. only just a car with Oh, you know, I just I knew per what I was perfect, doing. Yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm that right. Gave you guys enough room, yeah. you should be thankful. Yes. <laughs> could, have, could have been ugly. What do you mean, could have been ugly? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was particularly ugly, actually. Anyway. Well, let's take a few steps Move back on. now to the Northern Territory and a particular incident in race one between one M. Scaife and one M. Ambrose. This was pretty typical of the aggression we've seen in the last three rounds that I was talking about at the top of the show. <laughs> and talk us through this, Scaife. I think it's fair to say you didn't quite expect this. I wouldn't have thought that if you if you were leading the championship or whatever, uh, Bill, that you probably needed to pull that move on at the last corner to definitely, from here, you've got to make a car length and a half up to uh, to get up the inside, you know you're going to make contact. And uh, I didn't expect him to have a dive there. Obviously, obviously he did. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's the end of it. Stephen Richards, uh, in terms of your championship defence uh, in the last couple of rounds, you talked about risk management. What's your opinion on that kind of move in that situation? Marcus was racing for two points there. Yeah, look, I, it, you know, from my, my perspective, there's, there's no way that I, I would have tried that. But in saying that too, I, I think Marcus actually pulled up at the end of the straight after that race and, and couldn't continue for the rest of the lap. So it was a, it was a big risk on his part to, to make that move. And, um, you know, OK, left it to the last lap. But, um, you know, you've got you to you sort of take these things on when you're in that position in the championship. Um, you're not just driving for yourself as a driver. You're driving for the 30 other guys in your team, and they work equally as hard to get that result as what you do. So, yeah, Now, Richo, on that subject... <laughs> You guys, you guys, you knew you were going to be on the panel together and you are actually leaning towards each other to have a little chat here and it just didn't work out, did it? No, it didn't. It wasn't one of my hey, happier Rich, moments. Richard, what are you going to say on the panel on Monday? <laughs> uh, not sure, mate. Here's something now to talk about. <laughs> Whoops. Hasn't Scaifey been in both of these so far? <laughs> there is a common thread here. There is a common thread. Thanks, Jacques. <laughs> Yeah, thank that's you. A, that's, a pr that's a pretty hard one. I, I, I yeah. wouldn't actually want to be making a decision. Yeah, on look, that. it, it that's looked it looked hard. a lot more cut and dry from where, where I was sitting, sitting at the time. But, <laughs> but when you when you see it on the TV, you you, you what, have to that say that. What, oh, well, what do you think happened? I, I thought that um, Scafey moved over on me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm sure that our, our team guys' radios were, uh, were bleating to expletives. <laughs> I thought you were both very civilised back in pit lane when you were chatting about it. Uh, good old sight. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we, can, uh, we can all laugh about it now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the other... Look, what's this? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. What does the other side of the panel well, think about I mean, that? It, it, it's always very easy to look at these things in slow motion, and you know, it, in frame by frame, but obviously doing 200 plus kilometres an hour, it's hard to sort of pinpoint exactly what happened where it didn't happen. So three cars wide, uh, sometimes it always ends ugly. Well, the stewards had all the angles and at the end of the day decided not to take action and they did not take action on another incident which involved a group of cars in the Northern Territory. Let's have a look at this one where a couple of teammates happened to come together on hey, this Russ, occasion. This is yeah, this is the charge to the first corner. Yeah, Russell well. was... <laughs> what did Ross have to say? Uh, oh! Yeah. What did you say then, Russ, when you were spinning? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, to be oh, honest, I, I, Marcus would be the last one I expect to get a bit of a nudge from, and uh, he, he said that Bridie gave him a bit of a tap up the backside. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> that'd be, that'd be, that wouldn't be Brighty there, would it? That would be Brighty on the outside, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? Jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'll tell you what. Hey, uh, hey. Hey, Russ, Russ, mate, lucky you were there because he would have ended up in the go-kart track. On the, on the, the upside, there, it was a very stylish spin, I thought. It was nice. Yeah, full 360. <laughs> it, was, it was very nice. Very nice to execute. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised how cool, calm and collected you are about that little incident, actually. You haven't got anything to say about it at all? Well, you know, the worst thing, have the window down. No, no, have you got anything to say about it? <laughs> no, and all the dirt flew inside. Russell. <laughs> Russell, I recall what, a little incident um, only, oh, what, six months, seven months ago that uh, there, was, you know, there was a bit, of, bit said about that. It was a bit, and nothing, nothing like that for this one, no? Oh, what can you say? What can you say? I don't know. You've said plenty before. Mate, accidents happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> accidents happen. Accidents, accidents happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I Jeez, you are getting old and bloody <laughs> senile. And <laughs> 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 ah, ah, ah. But, but, Russell, what about your mate at, yeah. the, at the driver's briefing? Murph was, had his hand up 25 times trying to get the stewards to explain what had happened there. You didn't put your hand up and say, yeah, you didn't go with him. He was looking after you. What happened there? It's called... Oh, you're sitting next to Marcus. <laughs> it's actually called... <laughs> were you, sit oh, you were sitting next to Marcus. It's actually called I Like My Job. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, has he, has he become the Rubens Barrichello of the V8 Supercar Championship? That's the big question. Now, we've got a couple of team bosses at the end here who have been very, very quiet. There's panel damage involved here. There's cost and all other kinds of anxieties. Points lost. What are your views on this? It seems to me that the other common thread with those three incidents, by the way, is that they're all left uh, untouched by the stewards. It was, for me, there was only one, uh, one incident there that was... Um unacceptable in that it wasn't punished and that was the the one at um uh, darwin the other two were sort of uh, the sort of incidents that can happen and we don't want to stop people racing each other and uh the, the one that uh, where marcus took out um uh took out russell at the first corner was um i thought that was the sort of incident where you where you actually had to do a drive-through so i have to say from my perspective i was a little bit surprised at that one but the other two these things can happen gary rogers yeah i think what stephen said is pretty right bill i mean if you watch the replays you change it time and time again i don't think anyone deliberately or very few people deliberately steam in there wanting to cause havoc and um but it, the slow motion replays are much easier to, to decide how it happened, but when everyone's charging in there at 200 kilometres an hour, you don't stop as, as easy as you do on a replay at, you know, 50 kilometres an hour. So I think you've just got to bear some of it and, you know, try and avoid it where you can. But you can't, you know, you can't you've got compromise splinters. it. Gary, you've got splinters after sitting on the fence that bad with that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey? That's the only time I've never heard you say that's dead set right or wrong. Well, I don't think any of those, I wouldn't have pinged anyone, not even the first one, because like from the start line to that first corner at Darwin, you're fairly motoring by the time you get there. And as I said before, if you want to stop from 100 kilometres an hour, it's a side easier than from, say, 200. When everyone else stop. jumps on the brakes, well, you need to jump on the brakes. Well, but everyone else wasn't stopping, were they? I mean, eventually no, they were all compact and they were all still going. <laughs> well, we'll I just... take a break and when we come back we'll continue this topic. Gentlemen, what is being said to you about these incidents and why they haven't been penalised and punished? 
Over to you, Brad. Pick it up with Murph. <laughs> is anyone game enough to speak? Uh, pick it up with Murph. Okay, Murph. Uh, listen, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a... I mean, everyone is talking about a few things, and particularly, I think, uh, it was uh, the issue on the driver's minds did have a lot to do with the, the Darwin incident. There's a few ones, a few other ones, obviously the one with Scafi and Marcus. Uh, everyone looked at that and was like, well, it's hard to tell. Mark had his opinion of it, and, and, and Marcus had his one as well, obviously. And it, that's a tough, tough one. But I think the, the, the one that did stand out was, was Russell's and, and Marcus's one. And, and everyone sort of wanted to understand how, uh, how the decision came about that there was no penalty to be given. And, uh, you know, it was brought up at the driver's briefing, and, and um, uh, little more was said about it, actually. So uh, we, we're still. You know, the, the stewards have, have obviously looked at all this stuff and said that they didn't think that they could apportion a blame solely on one person and, and decided that uh, they wouldn't do anything more about it. Um, and there's been a lot of actually a lot of incidents this year that uh, seem to have probably been uh, overlooked, or not overlooked, but they've looked into it and, and decided not to, to have a, give a penalty. And if that's the case, well, then maybe there is some consistency starting to happen, and uh, it, it might mean that the racing is going to get a little bit tougher. Remember there was a directive from Avesco at the beginning of the year. Remember Wayne Caddick from Avesco sat down at the beginning in Adelaide and addressed all the drivers after the driver's briefing saying that they were going to allow a lot more racing, inverted commas, going on. Uh, they're going to allow a lot more panel rubbing up to a certain point. And to be fair, like Cam's only administer the rules that are handed down from a Vesco. Oh, oh, are you defending oh, Cam? You're kidding, aren't you? Okay, oh, I'll have they've got the now. Russell Ingle wing at yeah. Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to defend the stewards, but the thing is, they've been told like to, to let the let the rope out a bit, no, and, 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 they've, and they've absolutely done that. But there is obviously circumstances which probably. I don't think, I don't think any of us got a problem. But, but if, this if is. It is oh. <laughs> Was that Brad? No, it's Russell. No, no, but you, did you, you were involved in that, weren't you? Hey, hey speaking You're of common denominators, hey. check this out. Hang on. Only just. Uh, we, mu we must be able to see yeah, that yeah, again. You're going to be... get a bill for that VB. He was at the B pill. Look at the mark. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Here we go. Brad here we go. Jones. Brad here we go. Jones. Brad Jones. Yeah. Glenn Seaton. Poor Glenn Seaton. Oh, yeah, poor there. Glenn Seaton. Look at him hit me. Hey, Russ. Boom. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you know, Russell, oh, you're in danger. Was, you're in danger of was, losing the whole enforcer thing after that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Brad the he, enforcer he, James. He could have lost an eye. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> dangerous <laughs> business. Hey, uh, we're fighting for 15th place. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's a doggy <laughs> dog out there. Should the, should the stewards Brad, have looked at that? Brad, we defends, just have... Brad defends 15th place like it's the last lap of Bathurst in the league. I can't, I can't believe it. Like, it's not like, <laughs> <laughs> It's been a very <laughs> tough year. <laughs> Can we just be serious for a second? Because when you brought no, that up at the, so. at the stewards briefing, mm -hmm. and, the, and the guys were talking about it, really, they didn't want to talk about it, so Tim Schenken said it, it was a first corner incident, the Marcus and Russell one, and that was basically the excuse that nothing had been um, looked into any further because first corners were okay. Now, to me, that sets a really dangerous precedence because as soon as you say anything can go on at the first corner, then we all put our... Our uh, Russell Ingle hat on, and we all arrow into the <laughs> <laughs> we all arrow into the first corner. It's now not this the, it's now this the incident. Oh, sorry, yes. It's now the moment. Well, this was in the yeah, right. this was pretty close to the last corner. Actually, it was very late in the race, and Bargs, you swept past there Just. at that stage with your teammate. <laughs> Uh, what was Sam. your... Uh, oh! And then, well, you, you probably didn't see that, Bargs, but uh, you're too busy getting on with the was, job. Was that Paul Dumbrell? That was uh, Paul having a bit of bother here. A bit of speedway Oh! Oh! Man, check this bit out, though. Watch Ellery. Watch Ellery. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was straight uh, out of the advanced this? driving what's course. What's this? It's like being at Parramatta Speedway. <laughs> um, I hope they bring spare optimax signs to the races, do they? Incidents. It's, it so is a lot harder to define when there's six or seven or eight or nine cars together than when there's just two cars in an incident. Yeah, mate, mate, but mate, mate, they, mate. they have the ability, they have it on tape, and, and the problem that we as a group have, the drivers, is there's not enough communication to us about what's acceptable and what's not. And we understand that it's different at every corner, 
and every circumstance is different, that's been explained to us, but the bottom line is, when you go into the first corner, everyone jumps on the brakes, and one bloke doesn't, you know, and he has an accident, it, we, we just don't know where we stand, and it's not explained to us, and no one takes the time in those meetings to go, okay, we came to this conclusion for this reason, and, it, and it, the excuse we get, which is, well, it's the first corner, it's all a bit touchy, feely and bumpy and grindy, that's not good enough. Well, should and, be and free for all racing. Too. No stewards, race last man standings and winner. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're into that. Absolutely. We're into that. No problem. You're just complaining about drivers and how much they get paid and all this rubbish, and you're going to destroy drivers fine. Your cars. You get it deducted from your wages to pay for the repairs, <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, we're into it. We're into it. Start with half a million bucks. Every time you crash your car, a little bit comes off. At the end of the year, you'll owe me plenty. <laughs> uh, Let's have a look at the pit lane chaos here. I don't know about... Well, there was a penalty arising from this, in fact, and it wasn't anything to do with biffing and barging. It was actually Mark Scaife's and pace. I'll, and see, I, I got through pit lane that time. <sighs> Very good, good. Murph. Yeah. And, uh, and watch Garth clean up my wheel here. Oh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, he was in the way. The wheel was in the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, you had, if you had it back to the end, it probably would have been a lot better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just added three seconds to my stop. Watch, watch this next part here. When but watch watch Russell just, just park his car in the perfect spot. Watch this. Here we go. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just park it up. That's the one. Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Let's... Let's wait, let's wait for half the field to get out. I'll wait for Murph to come out. I don't think did Murph get out, but he held everyone up. And Marcus got our second perfect teammate. You're going to have to come and drive well, for me. No, but I, replay it. I, I Scotty, stopped. can you replay that? Because when I, you replay that, and Murph went, you go. And I said, no, no, you go. But when you replay that. Here we go. Uh, let's look at it again. Let's, let's not get me on the rev limiter about the first part. But the last he was part. when he's speeding on the way in. You can yeah. see from this shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why Jason Bright caught it. That's right. Yeah. But the, gr the great part is, when you look at the front part. There's a guy's kneecap. Yeah. When you look at the front bit, when all that kerfuffle happens created by Rus Russell, <laughs> um, Garth Tander sneaks by Jason Bright. It's, it's just Randy unbelievable. And, ja and Jason's hard in, the, in the your uh, backside of that Yeah, here we go. He crashes Boom. into you. Crash straight to the Ooh. back of and it, what, watch it. this, as it moves, <laughs> as it moves, now watch, watch Tander get past. There we go. There, there we go, go. Tander sneaks by. Great. That's the move of the year. <laughs> I reckon there was only half a car width there. <laughs> Don't you reckon this pit lane thing is getting a bit of a chaos so? Like, yeah, but hang on, that I mean, pit lane's the smallest that we have, and when you consider that, it wasn't such a bad effort all weekend. Yeah, well, no, what, no one got do. maimed. What they need to do? Yeah, but are you standing out there changing wheels, Gary? Well, I am. What about, I am. What about should, you guys? Here's like, a drive through penalty here. Yeah, from you Mark should have had the in-car camera. You wouldn't be shaking your head on this. Oh, there you go. What were you saying, Scott? I've seen some movie shots, but his mouth's usually moving when they show those ones. Yeah. Yeah. What they need to do in that situation, though, is we need to now not have the pit window open when the safety car With the window situates yeah. exactly. situation like that. So you can't start a race, get a safety car on lap one, yep. and have everyone fire in a pit lane. We have to have a place <coughs> where we do at least two or three green laps after the safety car pulls off, so at but, least it's safer yeah. for no, the guys. But you are an ideas man. But that I tell you, that is a bloody, <laughs> that is a bloody yeah, good yeah, idea. Yeah. You, you like that one? From it, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't afford like, straight to the trophy room. Two route. cars, two, I mean, all the two car teams, they all bought in both their cars, oh, and that's absolutely. caused condition because what are you going to? You can't stay out. You've got, I mean, you, it's better off taking the risk, losing a few seconds. I lost two spots in that stop because I had to wait for Rick, and, and you know, you lost a couple as well. And no, he made a heap of yeah. Everybody has a gentleman's agreement where you stop at the be beside the car, and the team before, is. so you wait till you finish your stop. So for me, it was parked next to Garth while Garth did his stop, and then Garth and gets out, JB goes out, right and I go in. Gentleman. I notice Russell goes <laughs> clunk and stops right behind Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Very clear. Go. Okay, every man for himself, two me as soon as I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to lose that split second. I must have been at that meeting with that agreement for place. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's probably going to pull a New York put in his age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, 